families that we will look at are known as hydrocarbons, which means that they contain carbon and hydrogen only. The names of the first members of this family can be found on page 9 of the data booklet. The alkanes, well the end of the name ends in ane, which means that this family has carbon to carbon single bonds. This is known as saturated. From the previous video, we worked out that the general formula for this particular family was CNH2N plus 2. The prefix is the first part of the name which tells us how many carbon atoms are present. If we use page 9, we can see that they all end in N and they've got a part of the word is at the beginning, which is known as the prefix. Meath tells us that we have one carbon atom in the longest chain. Eth is two carbons. Prope, three. Bute, four. Pent, five. Hex, six. Hept, seven and oct 8. So let's have a go at naming and drawing the alkanes. The first member of this homologous series is known as methane. Remember meth means that we have one carbon and it's going to have single bonds because ane tells us that it is saturated. Carbon can form four bonds and we surround them with hydrogens. If we were to change that to the shortened structural formula, we remove the physical bonds that we can see and we would write that as CH4 and the overall molecular formula is how many carbons and hydrogens that we have. We've got one carbon and four hydrogens, so the molecular formula is CH4. Let's have a look at the second member, which is ethane. That tells us that we have two carbon atoms and that they are saturated, which means that they have carbon to carbon single bonds. We make sure that each carbon has four bonds, so has four lines coming out of it. And then we fill it all out with hydrogen atoms. If we were to change this into the short and structural, we need to take each carbon by itself. The first carbon has three hydrogens attached, so we write CH3. And the second carbon also has three hydrogens attached, so that's CH3. If I was to write the molecular formula, I need to count up how many carbons I have and how many hydrogens. So the molecular formula for this would be C2H6. So the next member across we have is propane. Prop tells us that we have three carbons in our longest chain. Each carbon's got to have four lines or four bonds coming out of it and we fill the rest out with hydrogens. If we were to draw the short and structural formula, the first carbon is a CH3, second carbon is a CH2, and third carbon is a CH3. The total number of carbons that I have is 3, the total number of hydrogens is 8, so the molecular formula is C3H8. So here's your turn to have a little go. Uh, if you want to pause the video, um, you can have a go at drawing out the full structural the short and structural and the molecular formula for the two examples of butane and hexane. And when you are ready, you can resume the video and I will go through the answers. So to summarise everything that we need to know from the National 5 SQA course spec for alkanes is that it is a homologous series of saturated hydrocarbons with carbon to carbon single bonds. They have the general formula CNH2N plus 2. The prefix tells you how many carbons are in the longest carbon chain. They are insoluble, which means that they do not dissolve in water. And they are also used as fuels and are burned to release energy. This past paper questions from the National 5 2019 written 7b part 1. An example of one hydrocarbon contained in paraffin wax is C25H52. Name the homologous series to which this hydrocarbon belongs. 
So we're going to write down the molecular formula given as C25H52. Now remember, we always start off with CNH2N. So if I was to pop that into that format, I would have C25H times 2 times 25. And 2 times 25 is 50. So I would have to add 2, which means the general formula is CNH2N plus 2, which is the general formula associated with the alkanes. Part 2 to this question wants you to write the molecular formula for the molecule containing 72 hydrogen atoms that belongs to the same homologous series. This is quite a tricky question. Now, if we know that the general formula is CNH2N plus 2, if I take away 2 from the 72 hydrogen atoms, that would give me 70, and 70 divided by 2 gives me 35, which means that the molecular formula this time is going to be C35H72.